There's a really common mistake many players make when building a sporty engine in automation. Here's what a realistic power curve looks like. And here's what many players build. A Dino Queen. Why do real car manufacturers build engines the way they do? And why are relatively flat torque curves better in most situations? Let's find out. It is very easy to fall for the numbers trap. When aiming for a sporty or racy engine, you build an engine with the highest power possible. If you do that, you end up with this. Power peak at the RPM limit. This is perfect to boast your numbers or to build a car with the highest top speed. But I'm telling you, you'll need a lot more time until you get there. This is really bad for any racing use case you might aim for. And it hurts my German engineer's feelings. Let's take a look at an example engine in two configurations. The gorgeous Gisalpina Nuova Via in its standard configuration with the 2 liter engine in red, 112 horsepower, and a Dino Queen version in gold, aimed to produce the highest possible power number for this engine and RPM limit, which is around 122 horsepower. So how do they compare on the drag strip? First the standard one in red. The time is a 14.8. And then let's go for the Dino Queen. The time is a 15.5. The Dino Queen loses. But why is this happening? The Dino Queen has 10 horsepower more. This does not make any sense. Or does it? The answer lies in the acceleration graph, labeled in-game as the power versus traction graph, showing the possible acceleration over the vehicle speed. And if we overlay the two graphs, we can see that the standard engine has a lot more acceleration potential. That means available engine torque at lower speeds. Only at higher RPMs, the Dino Queen will be stronger. So what do we learn? In general, you should try to reduce the dips in the curve, the acceleration gaps, in order to get good and smooth acceleration. Try not to maximize power at all costs, even for sporty applications. Try to get a nice, smooth, flat torque curve. Ballpark number, aim for peak power at around 500 RPM before the RPM limit. Try to find a good compromise between top end and mid range power. This will not only be good for acceleration. Other benefits are drivability, comfort, as you need to shift less when cruising, and also track times and fuel economy will improve. There is only one reason to build a Dino Queen, for pure top speed record builds. Because ultimate power will give you ultimate top speed, no matter how long it takes to get there. So if you learned something today and want to help out my channel, please consider to hit the like button or to comment. Have you made this mistake before? Or are you a proper engineer already? Thanks for letting me know, thanks for watching and see you soon for more. Bye bye.